All right, so guys, this is going to be the grand finale of the Brawl Stars YouTuber tournament. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. We have four teams remaining in this tournament structure. The, the grand finals of the tournament going to be determined by the winners and the losers bracket finalists that are going to be then brought to the finals of the bracket. And uh, that's going to go ahead and be, you know, the actual end of the tournament. So we've got the winner's side, which is going to be the Bomb Squad with Apocalypse going up against Skinny Pams versus Coach Corey. Very excited about that. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But for the time being, we have got our first match of the day, which is going to be Lex and the Avengers going up against Dan One and the Lightning Skulls. Very, very excited to, uh, to say that we are going to be starting that out very, very soon. However... We have got an introduction from Lex. I have not seen it yet. I literally just downloaded it and put it in the stream. So uh, let's go ahead and hop right on over to that. And uh, we'll, we'll get a nice little introduction going. Perhaps the greatest team ever assembled. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Lex, and I am the captain of the Ufingers, and my channel here on YouTube is Lex Brawl Stars. I hope you guys come check my channel out. I do a lot of stuff, gameplay, tutorials, guides, uh, all the update information, all that good stuff. But more than anything, we have fun on my channel. We, you know, you're gonna see the top level gameplay, but you're gonna have fun doing it. No more boring old grandma's guides. Your grandma plays Brawl Stars? I don't know, maybe she does. But thanks to my teammates here of the Avengers, we got Despotic, Lester Moe, Keenan, Yump, and of course myself. We are, we've are we had a lot of fun in this tournament. Thanks to Chicken and everybody for being part of it. And congrats to the winners, which is going to be us, because if not, Chicken, you've rigged it and you're cheating us out of a victory. We're not going to take the blame for the loss if we lose. We're just going to say we got cheated. That's how it works here. But I hope you guys enjoy the tournament. Root us on, cheer for us, cheer against us, whatever. You better not cheer against us. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. This finals matchup is really interesting. I don't think many people would have anticipated Lex and the Ufengers being in the loser's bracket at this point in time. Most likely, we were going to see him towards the end of the winner's bracket. But nobody, I don't think anyone at any point expected him to be knocked into losers in the first week of the tournament. Going up against what would have been just an absolute blowout if they would have had their full team there. See, unfortunately, during the scheduling for their first match of the tournament, they actually had some issues finding a common time with their opponents and as such decided to compromise very significantly on their end, making it so they were playing at a very inopportune time. And what that resulted in was, you know, come the time of the match, only two of the three members actually showed up because the other one slept through an alarm. Now, since that unfortunate situation presented itself, they have been on an absolute tear in the loser's bracket, going 9-2 and two since then, going all the way up through losers from the beginning. From the first round of losers, they've actually fought through every single matchup and been dominant in every single one, all the way until going up against Kairos Time and Brawl of Duty for their semifinals matchup. It was actually just ridiculous watching them just knock off match by match by match by match. And really, there's no competition other than Kairos at this point. Now, that said, we definitely do have a very competitive matchup going into the losers finals with the Lightning Skulls being their opponents. So I sort of talked about this earlier in the week, but basically Lightning Skulls boil down to being really a dark horse in this competition. Dan One being the YouTuber for the team really didn't have a massive following, really didn't have a lot of momentum going into this. And people were like, okay, well, his seed is number nine, definitely is a relatively good team, but I don't know how far he's going to make it. Well, they've went up against some very, very powerful opponents and very, very good players with great strategy and great game sense and everything like that. And they've beaten them in a ridiculous fashion. They're sitting at nine and two as well in the losers bracket at this point in time, going into their finals matchup against the Ufengers. So I definitely think that, you know, counting them out at this point, even though Lex obviously has to be the favorite, the Ufengers have to be the favorites here. I don't think you guys should count them out. I think this is going to be a really, really fun matchup, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, we have the first matchup on the Brawl Stars YouTuber tournament, loser side of the finale. We are going to be seeing a really, really fun match this time around with Dan One and his team, the Lightning Skulls, going up against 
Lex and the Avengers. Like I said, we have got the obvious favorite, which is going to be the Avengers in this case. But obviously, Dan One and his team have been absolutely fantastic since the beginning of the tournament. And I definitely think that uh, they can pull this one out. As you guys can see, we're seeing some back and forth pot shots and everything right now. Dan One carrying four gems right there. Definitely a really solid start. He's taking some hits and he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and just back off right now. He definitely does not want to go down with four gems. That's that we are seeing a reversal there and we're definitely going to see a pushback from the uh, the Lightning Skulls because they are getting absolutely decimated right now with this forward momentum. That's it, Keenan getting a little bit caught out at the moment. Caught off by a shot from Leopard there. Leopard's going to pick up a single gem. Five and four right now. A very, very close match at the moment. Anyone's game for sure. Feeling really solid right now about this one. I think that this is going to be very, very great moving into the next few rounds as well. We are seeing a crazy fight in the middle. Lex going down, Leopard going down, and definitely... <laughs> We're going to see Dan One retreat right now as he goes down to about 700 HP. Very, very close. Insane stuff right now, guys. We are seeing, again, the crazy, crazy amount of gameplay that we've seen from Lester in the past few matches from Avengers, and they are actually going to grab the countdown because of him. That, that was just insane. Obviously, Lester being one of the best, if not towards the exact top of the list as far as ricochets in the world are concerned. Absolutely one of the best that I have seen in my time playing. They are retreating right now. Leopard's trying to make the forward momentum happen. It did not work out, though. Avengers are going to take the first round of the tournament. Congratulations, guys. That was really, really solid gameplay. Really cool stuff. Okay, so... Basically, now, guys, we just have to wait for them to go ahead and hop into the second round. They're going to declare everything in chat really fast so I can go ahead and tell you guys exactly what is happening. So we're going to switch right over to the analyst desk real quick. So uh, we're waiting right now at this point for Dan to go ahead and call the map and then the ban. And then we are going to take the Avengers ban as well. And then we'll jump into the next round. So solid stuff as you guys know uh we, we really don't need to reference the scoreboard at this point but i'll be changing that over time uh just as things happen so you know you guys can see right now we are currently one and oh in the matchup avengers versus the lightning skulls not bad at all not bad at all definitely saw some really awesome plays from the lightning skulls there i definitely think they could turn this one around very very easily that said Right now, you know, they definitely need to figure out exactly what they're going to be doing in this second round, what map they want to go to, and the ban that they're going to be going for. So, hopefully they go ahead and knock that out real fast. Map is going to end up being Deep Hollows, guys. So, we're going to Deep Hollows for the second round here, and uh, I, I don't know what the map is as of right the, at this moment, but definitely should be coming out in just a second. So, basically, the format is as follows, guys. They are going... The loser of the previous round is going to be choosing the map that they go to, okay? And then they're going to ban a brawler for the opposing team. Obviously... Well, not obviously. I guess that's why I'm telling you guys. Um, we don't need to... Uh, they, they basically don't need to be banning the brawler for both them and the opposing team. They're not going to be banning for them and the opposing team. Just the opposing team, okay? They're only banning for the opposing team. So, they can still use the brawler that they decide to ban here that's very very important to notice because basically that means that if someone's really really op with a certain brawler then they can sort of ban that brawler and ban essentially that person from playing it but if your team is op at two brawlers they can only ban one of those brawlers it might not be the same brawler you know so we'll have to see so lightning is going to go for the ban on mortis at deep hollows a little bit of an interesting decision. Not exactly sure what's prompting that, but hey, I mean, you know what? Maybe they just have issues going up against Mortises. I don't know if Avengers would have actually used Mortis, you know, in, in this matchup, really, I gotta say. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to see how this one goes, guys. I'm definitely interested. The ban from Lex is going to be Poco. Probably, probably the right decision. I'm going to be honest right now, guys. I definitely think that that's exactly where they needed to go. Pogo is absolutely just devastating for a lot of team comps, especially to lose that, okay? Pogo is ridiculous to lose because Pam just does not fill the same spot. She just doesn't. She doesn't have the same damage output. She doesn't have the same consistent healing and everything like that. So basically, I mean, losing Pogo is going to be devastating for the, uh, the Lightning Skulls there. They've uh, they went ahead and won their first match. It was a back and forth one, but it was definitely in their favor. So we're jumping into the second match. 
of the tournament, guys, of the uh, the losers' finals, which is just going to be great stuff. Great stuff. Obviously, right now we're seeing a very interesting, interesting team. I'm not exactly sure why they've chosen to run bow of all, but uh, definitely very interesting. We're seeing a Dynamite and a Barley opposition pick. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but we are going to see Lester get caught out completely by the super from Dynamite and go down to a Dan shot there. And uh, wow, actually working out very well for Lex. Very nice job um, with that pushback. But also, you know, there, there's... Oh, oh, the RNG going clutch mode for Lester there. Danny trying to get something done. Unfortunately, the Ace going down on their team. And uh, Lightning Skull's definitely going to need to push back up in that one. And they're just taking so much damage right now. A lot of burst damage potential from this team. You know, you have the obvious crazy burst damage from Barley. You also have the burst damage from Spike just from his normal attacks. And then Poco can have piercing damage and damage pretty much everybody. That said, Poco is going to go down. Lex is down. We are seeing Dan push forward. Super going down from Lester. And that's going to slow him down just enough that Keenan's able to land a few shots on him and kill him. And we are currently looking at a very, very even matchup. Six and four gems guys back and forth again very very close exciting stuff going on right now and the sort of logistics of this team back and forth going right now um not being like a mirror match or anything i mean that's pretty nuts you know i'm, I'm actually really enjoying this so uvenger's going to grab the countdown that said i would not count out lightning skulls at this point that said also dan one is very very low at the moment the bear from nita coming on forward they've got four troops can they move on forward unfortunately for them it does look like they've got a really solid defense on uvenger's side and this is going to be the second round going in favor of the Avengers, congratulations, Lex, my man. That worked out so, so well for you. They are going to take the second one. Currently 2 and oh, my friends. Absolutely a dominant performance so far. Very, very crazy back and forth, but, you know, it is ending out in their favor. They are able to actually go ahead and, and really take advantage of these momentum changes. And it's pretty crazy, guys. It's actually pretty crazy. Uh, we are going to see the win. Um... They banned Mortis again. Uh, okay. So we're seeing a ban on Mortis again from, <laughs> from the, uh, the Lightning Skulls here. Interesting decisions all around. I'm, I'm not entirely sure about that one, guys. I gotta say. But you know what? Hey, if, it, if it's something they have issues with, I definitely, I definitely understand the decision. Uh, but yeah, we are going to see them start out this next match in just a second here. Obviously, Ufenger's choosing to go ahead and ban Poco again. We're going to go for the spectate right now. Going into the third and possibly final round of the Losers Finals. Fingers crossed that we could see at least a little bit of a comeback from the Lightning Skulls. You know, I'd like to see a back and forth, maybe even the threat of a final match going to game five. But we are seeing a... <laughs> what is this team, dude? Um... Okay, so they opted to use Pam in place of Poco, obviously. Right now, a very, very forward push going from Leopard and using opting to use the star power from Dynamite. Very crazy stuff. Uh, you usually don't see that, but actually, it's working out very, very well for them. Danny opting to sort of just push back Keenan a little bit, do a little bit of damage, probably build up the super as well in anticipation of a push going back in their direction. They have six gems, guys, so they definitely can easily win this match. This is easily in their field. And they probably are going to be able to push very, very heavily towards the end of this match to make it happen. Now, seven gems versus one. They are just... Uh, Uventers are just really, really struggling with this forward momentum. Obviously, Nita having that forward pressure from her super. But Nita is going to go down. We are seeing the healing station go up from... Oh my gosh. The, the burst damage again. That was what I was talking about earlier. The, the burst damage on the Avengers teams that all of the teams that they're running actually is really, really insane. And it's going to mean that things can swing very, very quickly and very, very easily. The Lightning Skulls going for their final gem that they need. And, uh, wow. Wow. This, this is just back and forth craziness, guys. That bear may just save them at this point. Unfortunately for the Lightning Skulls, they are going to see the reversal right now going and getting aced. And they are going to have 15 gems to take out on the enemy side. Keenan needs to go down right now for them to be able to take this one and uh, make it happen. You know, they are not going to be able to grab enough gems at this point to reset the timers. They've got a few seconds to take out Keenan. It is just not going to happen. That is going to be a 3-0 victory. Avengers moving on to the finals. 
I, well, okay, the grand finals technically of the loser's side of the tournament. However, at this point, it's it's uh, it's definitely not finished right now because we are going to see the loser from the winner's side of the tournament coming in for the uh, the actual grand finals of the loser side of the tournament. So that was the finals. Then we've got grand finals losers and then grand finals winners. But first, guys, we have got the winner's side of the bracket. Um, and that's going to be a very, very interesting matchup with Coach Corey and Apocalypse leading their respective teams. Very excited about that one, guys. But yeah, Ufender's taking it in a convincing fashion, knocking out the Lightning Skulls. Very solid gameplay, very clean gameplay from them. It went back and forth a few times, and Lightning Skulls really looked like they might have had it at a few points. But unfortunately for them, they really just couldn't... They, they couldn't stop the, the crazy splash damage that the Ufenders were able to dish out. It really is insane how much damage they can do. So, uh, guys, we are going to go ahead and go on a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere. I think you guys might enjoy these commercials. They're a little unique, definitely different than, uh, than what you'd expect from your typical commercial. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Welcome to Barley's School of Bartending. Learn all you need to know about being a bartender for robots across the Brawl Stars universe. Barley's School of Bartending covers all you need to know about the art of bartending for robots, their favorite drinks, how to serve their drinks, and the special ingredients you won't find used anywhere else. Disclaimer. Do not make these drinks for humans. That would be a bad idea. Don't do that. Bad, bad, bad idea. Humans and robots have a very, very different taste in drinks. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the first lesson in Barley's School of Bartending. Now, we wanted to go ahead and give you guys one free lesson just to sort of show you what you can expect as far as quality and general usefulness is concerned with this entire series. Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about today is Barley's famous motor oil shots. Now, I, I feel like I really need to reiterate here. This is not for humans. This is for robots. Now, first off, you have very few ingredients that you're going to be using this time around. Obviously, you know, future lessons will be much more in depth, but this lesson is mainly focused around just making the shot and then making it as appealing as physically possible. So you're going to need your motor oil first and foremost. Okay, that is very, very important. And you're also going to need your shot glass. So the first thing you're going to be doing to get the motor oil shots started is you're going to to taste obviously you know some people don't like motor oil some or some robots correct me uh if i say that again make, make sure you let me know but uh yeah if if, if you want to if you want to make a proper motor oil shot you need to do it to taste obviously some people will like it much more than others some some robots will like it much more than others so you're going to be putting in roughly two teaspoons of motor oil possibly a little more if you know you got a big burly dude that thinks he can take it then obviously or big burly robot you know daryl for example that thinks he can take it so uh let's go ahead and just go for those two teaspoons of motor oil so right off the bat very appetizing again don't drink this um but you got you got nice two teaspoons right here fantastic start Okay, so guys, you're probably wondering, where do I go from here, chicken? What else can we possibly do to the motor oil shot? What does Barley do when he serves up all his buddies? You know, and what what specifically does he do when you have a really big, tough robot that comes in and wants something strong? Well, let me be the first to tell you, you can continue to just add more motor oil here. So you're going to get up to probably about four teaspoons in the shot, guys. Oh, spilled a little bit there. That's fine. That's fine. It's motor oil. It's no biggie. Um, so we got about four teaspoons of motor oil in this shot glass right now. So you're, you're probably wondering, what else do you do to it to make his signature shot? Well, let me just be the first to tell you that, you know, a proper shot from, you know, a, a school certified Barley's, you know, student is going to be glazed around the top. So you're going to you're going to just dip your finger in. You're going to glaze it right around the top there. You know what I'm saying? And then it's going to be just about complete. However, there is one last thing you want to do to these to uh, make sure that it's just as appetizing as possible. You're going to add more motor oil, much more, as much as you can fit into that puppy. And uh, yeah, we're spilling quite a bit, but that's fine. You know what? I'm an amateur. Obviously, I'm no barley. So uh, barley school of bartending lesson number one, six teaspoons of motor oil in a shot glass. And uh, yeah, it's going to be the rage with all of your robot buddies. So definitely try it out. If you haven't already, if you're a robot, if you're a person, do not do this. Do not do this at home. It's not a good idea. You don't want to do this, okay? But I am a professional. I have been trained by Barley. I'm an amateur professional, but 
I've been trained by barley. I can do this, okay? So guys, that's basically how you make a motor oil shot. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely take it up with barley because he's the one that taught everybody how to do this. But uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's, let's get right back into the action, shall we? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that little uh, ad spot we had there, but definitely have a little bit more before we get into the next match. We've got two little ads showing off uh, Coach Corey's and Apocalypse's channels real quick, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to talk about just a little pre-game hype vid, and uh, then we're going to go right into the next match. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll just start playing them. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. It's Coach Corey, and I do a lot of strategy-based videos. I try and show the game from a top player's perspective. I've been in top 200 for about a whole year, so I really try and understand the game from a high-level perspective and give that to you guys. Whenever I do any gameplay, I try and talk about what I'm doing and why. I do a lot of strategy videos, brawler rankings, map guides, event guides, stuff like that. If that's your thing, I'm your guy. And of course, got to give a shout out to Chicken. Chicken, thanks so much, man, for hosting this tournament. It's been a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see what happens in the finals. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just kidding, Chicken. You have a wonderful channel. I wish I could have it. Anyways, thank you for doing this, Chicken. You, you, you really outdone yourself, brother. Congratulations on a tournament well done. Anyways, guys, my name is Apocalypse, more commonly known as Apoc. I make videos ranging from advanced guides, which, you know, I'm a pretty decent player. 11k, number one Nita in the world one time. Um, all the way to glitches and hacks that I find in the game. I do live streams and uh, so much more, and I hope you guys do enjoy. One thing I love to do is to make you guys laugh in the beginning of all my videos. Well, guys, that is pretty much it for my channel. Thank you so much, Chicken, again. And, guys, I hope I will provide you with really good entertaining matchup today. I will see you in the battlefield. Peace out. I'm going to line this match a little bit for you because it's actually pretty insane. First off, we have to acknowledge that the one side of this is the 8th seed okay the eighth rank in the tournament and the other one is the second seed becoming the first seed after robert and his team dropped so basically what this is reduced to is an uphill battle from the bomb squad but not necessarily as uphill as we originally thought obviously they are working from below at this point the seed is lower their, their trophy count is lower their accolades in tournament structured matches and in general as far as trophies and placings are concerned are lower but they are still amazing players and you have to keep in mind that apocalypse started out around 7500 trophies obviously you know knowing what she's doing being a good player and having the potential to do more with that than uh, she had done at that point but at this point just a few months later she's over 11,000 on the road to 12,000 and one of the top players in the game so Obviously, we're going to see some amazing gameplay from that team, definitely more so now than when the tournament started. So you don't have to expect a blowout here, even though it's the eighth seed versus the first seed. They've proven themselves match after match after match in the winner's side of the bracket and been absolutely dominant in their matches. Now, on top of that, I will say that there is another motive for Apocalypse and her team to win this tournament, and that is the fact that Apocalypse actually lost her YouTube account not too long ago now i know not a lot of you are probably filled in on the whole details and everything surrounding this but basically her account got hacked her videos got deleted her twitter got hacked and you know that was just a big mess in and of itself and essentially she's had to restart her entire channel so i want you guys to think about the possibility of a comeback and especially think about that as a motivation when you're watching this Obviously, they're going to be more motivated to make risky plays to sort of put it all on the line to make it so not only that they're going to win the match, but they're going to have a dominant showing against one of the best teams in the game just to make a ridiculous comeback from losing her account and then going back to zero subs and then making new videos and everything fresh start. And from there, going to win a YouTuber tournament where she's going up against the best this game has to offer as far as content creators are concerned, but also one of the highest tier teams in the game in this winner's side matchup. So 
I do think that that's going to be a motivation going into this tournament for her to do very, very well. And I'm very excited to see how everything unfolds. So guys, going back to when Brawl Stars came out, obviously a lot like other games, we saw the esports potential even more amplified because Supercell decided to have their own tournament right in the beginning to sort of launch the game as a competitive, you know, possibly esports type of title down the line. Well, the thing is that there are always going to be players that just jump on games like that immediately and they want to be the best at the game they want to be the best in the world they want to make all of the the achievements and everything that can possibly be done get the highest amount of whatever the rating points in the game are things like that and that is coach Corey and the skinny pans i mean they are ridiculous players they are so so good they figured out all the strategies from day one they've been ranked in the top percentage in the top 200 rather you know the top 0.01 percent of players they've been there since the beginning so to say that they're going to not be a threat and not be competitive against bomb squad even though they have dramatically improved and definitely are going to be very competitive in this matchup is a ridiculous statement to make they have been there at the top since the beginning and i do think that this is going to be a very competitive back and forth matchup and do not blink because these matches will be decided in very minute details they are both fantastic fantastic teams they have the synergies down they have you know voice chat and everything figured out and they have calls and everything like that just like you'd expect in high tier esports level gameplay from pretty much every single moba and other competitive game across the board I mean, this is going to be an insane matchup, guys. So don't blink. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into it. All right, everybody. We are just a few seconds away from getting into the winner's finals matchup for the Brawl Stars YouTuber tournament. Again, this is going to be featuring Apocalypse and her team, the Bomb Squad, going up against Coach Corey and his team with the Skinny Pams. Very exciting stuff. All right, guys, hopping into the first match of the winner's finals of the Brawl Stars YouTuber Tournament. So we will see how they do. Uh, this is actually a pretty, pretty, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, interesting matchup to say the least. Obviously, we're seeing a Brock pick from Eric there. That's definitely interesting where you usually see a Ricochet, but there's no Ricochet on that entire team. I think we're seeing some counterplay right now. And Piper definitely also a very, very odd decision. I'm not entirely sure why you choose those or make those decisions you know I, I think rationalizing that is something we're gonna have to do after we see the tournament and uh see how it ends and everything but we are going to see the first victim going to be apocalypse taking down Corey there now coach Corey is back he, he uh he went down to about 400 hp there so very very close to going down but not quite and he's still carrying two gems so we are seeing some sort of forward momentum from Eric, from Corey, and Coach Corey there. And uh, <laughs> that's really awkward to commentate. So uh, again, the splash damage on both teams being very notable right now. Obviously, Piper being notable for the splash damage in, in, in particular because she can do thousands and thousands and thousands of damage almost instantly just by clicking the auto attack button. But we're seeing a bit of a back and forth right now. Eric going to take out Ilvistra there. And they're going to maintain this sort of center position right now. Definitely very, very hard to beat at the moment. Apocalypse sitting off to the side right now, trying to sort of get this forward momentum. Supering, unfortunately not going to be able to take out Coach Corey. Apocalypse is going to die, and uh, we're going to see Rock go down as well. Elvistra dropping to a random pot shot from Brock, too. And Apocalypse going to try to stop this one. The RNG going to go in Coach for Corey's favor there, and the random pot shot is going to connect. And unfortunately for the bomb squad they are going to drop the first round of the uh, of the set rather yeah very very interesting matchups we we have going into that one guys and i'm excited to see how this next one goes i will tell you guys as soon as we do go ahead and get more information on the map choice and everything like that but that was that was a good match that was a really good match. It went back and forth, but eventually, you know, Coach Corey and his team really brought it together. They got that center position around eight gems, and they were able to keep it until the end of the match. Um, but yeah, we're currently waiting for them to go ahead and, and state the map and their bands. We're going to see the map is going to be Deep Hollows. So again, very similar to the Losers Finals, actually. And I definitely could see... I, I could see this one... I don't know. I could see a reversal on this one. I could definitely see APOC taking it out, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. This is good, though. And that is going to be the second round. The, the black screen. That is going to be the second round. There we go, guys. 
All right, let's go ahead and get into the second round of the winner's finals matchup again with the uh, the skinny pans going up against Bomb Squad here. We're seeing a very early momentum from Apocalypse and her team. Also, we're seeing a very, very early momentum from, uh, wow, actually, this is just a back and forth just rumble we're, we're seeing right now, guys. Coach Tori trying to sort of outplay Rock right now, and he is going to get a decent push right there, a decent amount of damage. That said, Rock is able to go ahead and land a full square on two dynamite hit, and that is going to connect with Coach Corey, taking him down very, very low. Coach Corey will go down to Rock. Rock is going to survive with just a little tiny bit of HP, and we are seeing Ilvistra now collecting all of these gems, and we're also seeing Ilvistra playing Penny, which is very notable. We haven't seen Penny used too often in the Brawl Stars YouTuber tournaments, so this is cool. This is cool. This is a nice back and forth we're seeing right now. Poco going in for the heal with Corey. That's, uh... That's Coach Corey getting bombed by Ilvistra right there. Obviously, that mortar is going to be clutched, sitting behind that barrier, and there's not a whole lot that they can do about it without Coach Corey making that forward momentum shift. And it is looking like we are going to see the countdown from Bomb Squad right now. A very, very counter team strategy that they are uh, they are employing very well right now, I will say. And they are just decimating at the moment. Good grief! Trying to take down Ilvistra to stop the countdown. Unfortunately for Corey, they are going to get knocked down. And that is going to be the second round. Moving over to the Bomb Squad, guys. Very, very interesting matchup. I definitely really enjoyed that one. I hope you guys did as well. Um, and we're seeing some interesting strategies overall. You know, that, that Penny pick is really instrumental, I think. Going ahead and putting the Mortar down. Once you actually do get that initial super, obviously setting down the Mortar behind that barrier really did work out very, very well for them. I think that was almost instrumental in their win there because, as you guys saw, you know, the, the opposing team, obviously, Skinny Pams were moving forward. They were trying to get that momentum shift like they did in the first round, but unfortunately for them, that Mortar really just set them back. And then if they got pushed back at any point by any of the Brawlers on the Bomb Squad's team, then the Mortar would sort of connect with them very easily, doing a couple thousand damage. So, pretty crazy gameplay right there. Definitely very interesting stuff. And, uh, I, I just, dude, I can't, I can't wait to actually, like, go over all of this in hindsight and sort of think about the strategies everybody used. Maybe do some, like, interviews and stuff like that with people that, uh, maybe were on these teams and what they were thinking going into these matches. And even using this in reference when, uh, we do host future tournaments. Very, very hyped about that, guys. Very, very hyped about that, but they just need to go ahead and declare the map and the bands. We are seeing Crystal Caverns. Coach Corey opting to ban Poco for the Bomb Squad. Definitely going to be, again, in my opinion, the right decision. I definitely think that Poco is very instrumental in most gem grab comps right now. His buff was just insane, and he's just stayed relevant in the meta since, you know, being buffed, honestly. He's just been ridiculous, you know? I do think we're going to see even a nerf when Supercell gets back from vacation. I think that's probably what we're going to see. So, uh, we will definitely... Uh, have to think about what what uh, Bomb Squad is going to go ahead and ban because I, I think they could go a few different ways. I think they could go for the mirror ban with Poco. I think we'd also see another Mortis ban, which would just be very strange because I don't think that they're going to be using Mortis in Crystal Caverns. Maybe even something as crazy as as a uh, a ban on a closer range brawl that they might have issues with. You know, I, I honestly don't know. They could go a lot of different directions here. Basically, it boils down to what they think that the Skinny Pams are going to be best able to take advantage of, what they've, you know, studied their, their gameplay footage from, you know, previous matches from previous tournaments and things like that, and try to figure out exactly what the best thing to ban would be okay so uh yeah we'll just have to see what they choose real quick and then we will get into the next round um and apocalypse opting to ban nita here i'm not entirely sure about this decision i'm not sure again that skinny pams are going to opt to even play nita in this position but i guess that they're going for a counter team comp Right now, we're going to see what their strategy is very, very shortly. The Spectate going to be going through in just a second here, guys. Who do you think will win the tournament? Honestly, I don't know. Lex definitely put on a crazy 3-0 showing going up against the uh, the nine-seed Lightning Skulls there, winning the Losers Finals. So definitely think that that could be something that we see happen. That said, Corey's also putting forth a really, really solid effort, and Bomb Squads uh, and, and Apocalypse are putting forth a really, really awesome effort. So 
I honestly don't know, guys. I honestly don't know. It's really anyone's game. And we are going to see the start right here. Let's go ahead and get into the next round. Spectate going through. And we are jumping right into the next match, guys. We got... Wow. Okay, so interesting comps on either side here. Definitely not a mirror match by any means. Um, the only mirror we're seeing is Spike and Spike, but that's really a pretty obvious decision here right now. And uh, yeah, okay, so Ricochet and Piper going to be the mirror as far as just their general value proposition to the team is concerned. And we are also going to be seeing the Terra and the Penny decisions for those picks. Uh, that was... Wow, okay, so interesting decisions again by the... Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. Skinny Pam's going to go ahead and take the ace on Bomb Squad right there. Just sort of got together, used their supers in the right way, used their attacks in the right way, pushed forward, pushed forward with a crazy momentum shift, and was able to take them all out in a crazy ace there. Solid job with the super from Coach Corey there. Unfortunately for Coach Corey, he's going to go down after he goes for the super, but that said, it is going to be a three-for-one trade. Corey just sitting in the middle right now, picking up all of these gems right now. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know if they're going to be able to stop this countdown. That said, they are in an optimal position at the moment to stop the countdown if they were going to. And they are actually going to get lucky and get that RNG shot. Apocalypse opting to go for the, the RNG shots and the attack is going to connect properly. That's it. Eric is going to pick up the rest of the gems. And then we're seeing another countdown from Coach Corey's team. I think that Skinny Pams may just have this because it's very, very hard to actually get far enough in this map to actually stop a countdown. In just a few seconds remaining, guys, that is going to be the game. They are going to actually take home, Skinny Pams are going to take home the third match, making it a two and one currently right now. And uh, that is... I'm, I'm not I'm not entirely sure guys I'm not entirely sure about this because I definitely think we could see the reversal but at the same time they really had a dominant performance in that particular match that was a very dominant performance they at no point looked like they were going to lose that game apocalypse definitely you know th that the bomb squad is an awesome awesome team don't get me wrong but I will point out at this point that that particular game that one game you know the one match in the set, that looked pretty dominant from the Skinny Pams. It, it just did. It just did. You know, you can't deny that. You got to give credit where it's due. And that was a very dominant performance. Right now, we are sitting two and one. The next game being game point for the Skinny Pams, guys. So this could be the final game in winner's finals. That said, you know, we got a lot of action left to go. So uh, definitely very, very hyped about all that. And I, again, will be giving you guys information once we get it. We will get the map choice and the bands out as soon as physically possible. All right, so we are seeing the ban and the map choice coming in from Apocalypse right now. Mushroom Cave is going to be the choice for the map, and the ban is going to be on Mortis. I, again, I don't know about the Mortis ban. I really don't. I don't know what's making this such a scary opponent for the bomb squad right now, but I guess I got to respect their decision. It worked out for them in the second round of this matchup. So I guess it's a, it's a decent decision if, uh, if it actually does impact coach Corey and his team. Now we'll have to sort of ask about that and see, you know, if, uh, if that's something we're even considering beforehand in the future. So, uh, we'll, we'll see, but definitely, you know, if that's something they're scared about, they obviously need to ban it. And it's something they're probably going to have issues with if they're choosing to actually go ahead and go for that ban. Now we're just waiting on Coach Corey to go ahead and choose his ban, and then we will get into possibly the final game in this set, guys. Possibly the final game. Okay, Corey opting to ban Poco for the bomb squad right now. This is a, a bit of an interesting decision by them as well, um, but that said, it's it's a safe decision. It's a safe decision in my opinion because I think again, uh, you know, we talked about it before. I mean, Poco, Poco is ridiculous to deal with. Let's be honest here. He's he's definitely one of the biggest threats in gem grab right now, especially high tier, high trophy gem grab. So you can sort of expect that this ban is going to come out occasionally. You know, it's going to occasionally happen. And it looks like we are going to go ahead and get started with what could possibly be the final round 
in the Brawl Stars YouTuber Tournament winner side of the bracket, guys. So rolling on into this, we're seeing a Spike, Poco, and Dynamite comp from Coach Corey's Skinny Pams. And we are seeing, again, Ilvistra opting to play the Penny. And it's going to work out very, very well. Apocalypse choosing to use Nita right now, figuring, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ham with what is probably my best brawler in the game, Rock opting to play Barley. So we are seeing a completely unique team comp on either side of this. It's going to be crazy to see how this interaction happens, but it does look like they're able to actually go for the pushback very easily right now. That said, Eric and Rock are going to go one for one right now. Obviously, Lobber's, you know, not having as much HP and being a little bit more susceptible to those pot shots from Mortars and from opposing lobbers. Super going down from Rock. It's going to connect slightly with Eric, actually doing quite a bit of damage there. We are going to see Elvistra actually connect with Eric for the kill. Coach Corey pushing forward right now. Corey also pushing forward, trying to get that center control. This is a back and forth fight for the ages right now, guys. Elvistra setting up another mortar at the moment. Obviously, really a necessary thing to do right now to try to push back and uh, make sure that they can just maintain this mind control right now. But five and five, guys. This is about as close as it can be. Coach Corey dropping. Unfortunately for him right now, we are going to see a two for none at this point. Rock taking quite a bit of damage. Eric going to go down to Elvistra's shot. They sort of blend in with Barley's shots, honestly, and it makes it probably very difficult to dodge. We're seeing a countdown now from Bomb Squad. Will they be able to take this one down? A little bit easier to, to drop a countdown in, in Crystal, honestly. So uh, we'll have to see if they can actually get this final push to happen. But maybe not. It does look like Rock is actually going to defend properly. Apocalypse going down very, very low. But unfortunately for Skinny Pams, this is going to go to the final round, guys. We are going to be seeing a final round in this set this is going to the last match okay the final match now obviously coach Corey and the skinny pams are going to have the advantage here because they're going to be able to go for the first ban and for the map pick so they're going to they're going to be going where they want to basically is what it comes down to here guys but 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 that doesn't mean for sure that they're going to be able to jump into this match and just win OK, they're, they're not going to be able to just jump in and win. We've seen some crazy back and forths here and obviously going to two and two going to the final match. I mean, it goes without saying at this point, I think that this is going to be a competitive finale. Now, that said, we're going to have to see what they do choose for the actual map and the ban. I'll give you guys more information in just a few seconds when we do get that, hopefully. And uh, yeah, just really interesting bans on either side of this. You know, some of them are very safe. Some of them not so safe. Uh, they're going to Crystal again, and they're going to be banning Poco in this instance. Coach Corey is going to choose to go to Crystal Caverns again, and we're going to see a ban on Poco. So, again, very safe ban right now. We're probably going to see a very offensive, very heavily aggressive team from the Bomb Squad. But uh, this, is, this is for all the marbles, guys. This is for all the sticks. This is some serious business right now for who's going to be going to the Grand Finals, who's getting knocked down to the Grand Finals of Losers Bracket. So... We will see how this one goes, guys, but we just need one more ban from the Bomb Squad. I'll tell you guys in just a second when we do get that, and then we'll be starting off with the next round, the final round of Winner's Finals. They are going to go for the Piper ban. Okay. Okay, I can respect this. I can respect this. This is good. Are we getting into the final match in the winner's side of the bracket? I think we are, guys. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We are seeing a Spike, Jesse, and Terra team going up against a Spike, Nita, and Piper team. Elvistra opting to play Nita this time around. And guys, this is going to be a crazy, crazy game. Crystal Caverns being notable because it's just got a lot of back and forth potential. But once you do lock in the actual countdown, I mean, it's difficult, man. It's really difficult to actually... To, to stop it from happening. So we are going to see the forward momentum from Coach Corey and his team, the Skinny Pams, at the moment. But we are actually seeing a bit of a reversal in pushes right now because they are getting damaged a little bit too much. They have to sort of return back to a, a safe area to actually just get their health back. But it does look like Eric is probably... Yeah, Eric is going to go down here. Apocalypse also going down. A one-for-one -one trade at the moment. Corey is down to about 1,200 HP, though. 
Coach Corey, however, uh, there's, there's a lot of gems sitting in that middle area right now. One of them is just waiting until they can get right in there or at least just try to take out the enemy team and see if they can get all those gems. And it does look like the forward momentum from Corey's Jesse is going to actually mean that they're able to go in and get most of those gems. Five and three right there. Five and four. Actually seeing Coach Corey go down right there. Apocalypse trying to go forward, trying to get something to go down right now. Unfortunately, four Apocalypse is not going to be enough, and we aren't going to see too much of a reversal at the moment. This is the final matchup, guys. That's it. The Super for Rock going down right now. Ilvistra definitely sending in the pot shots at the moment. Coach Corey going forward, trying to make something happen, trying to make sure that they don't get taken down. Unfortunately for the Skinny Pans, they are going to have the countdown stopped. Coach Corey going forward, grabbing a few more gems there. And Corey's going to have 10 gems. This is going to be nearly impossible for the Bomb Squad to actually come back from, guys. I got to say, I don't think that this one's going to happen. We are seeing Eric go forward with the push. And that is going to be the ace for the win. Moving forward in the winner's side of the tournament, we are going to see Coach Corey and his team, the Skinny Pams, guys. Very, very awesome games in this winner's side final. I really can't say it enough. Congratulations to Coach Corey. He's going to move forward. That said, Apocalypse will now go down to face Lex in the loser's grand finals of the tournament to see who actually goes up against Coach Corey and the Skinny Pams for the grand finals, guys. For the grand finals. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind right now. I'm not going to have any voice left by the end of this stream. How awesome of a game was that, though? That was like back and forth in the beginning. It was so tense. You could feel the tenseness watching them play. They weren't willing to commit to anything that wasn't guaranteed. And eventually the guarantee just happened to happen. It just happened to drop down there with basically that Jesse super where that, that turret got just set up right in the perfect position right behind one of the barriers there in the middle. And that was really devastating. So now we are seeing the, uh, the matchup with Lex and... The, uh, the Uvenger is going up against Co or Coach Corey. No, not yet. Not yet. Possibly, but not yet. We're going to be seeing Apocalypse and the Bomb Squad going up against Lex and the Uvengers. But before we do that, guys, we are going to go back into some more ad spots. Just some quick ones. Just some quick ones. Hope you guys enjoy them. I will be back in just a second. Buddy, welcome to Dynamax TNT Emporium. Get your big bombs, your small bombs, your jumping bombs, all kinds. Get them free. Get them today. I don't really care. Just get them. Get them and throw them. Throw them at walls. Throw them at enemies. Throw them all over the place. Disclaimer, using Dynamite TNT may or may not result in nausea, sore throat, sore arms, arm loss, leg loss, head loss, a bunch of other things we don't want to talk about, but don't play with TNT because it's a really, really bad idea. Come on down and get your TNT today. Have you ever seen a bird that throws poison knives while playing Brawl Stars? Crow here from Crows for Bros. We offer a brand new solution for Brawl Stars players to get the best legendary in the game. Crow without spending a dime. Find more at... Hello. Welcome to Bows, Crows, and more. We sell crow. Lots of crow. So many crow. Get your crow today. Get another crow free. Get a hat crow. A short crow. A pants crow. The whole thing. Buy them today. Come soon. Crow sell out fast. Goodbye. Hope you guys liked those. But, uh, yeah, we are just getting this coordinated right now. Everybody's getting in the room, getting ready to go. And then we will be starting out with the next round of the tournament in just a few minutes, guys. Just a few minutes. So it's going to be, again, Apocalypse going up against Lex and the Oofengers going up against the uh, the bomb squad. So this should be interesting. See, the thing is, the thing is that uh, I, I think that we could easily see a blowout from either side, but I don't know which side it's going to come from. We haven't seen the Oofengers go up against a really crazy team uh, in, in quite a while. It's been a while. You know, they got knocked to losers, so obviously they're going up against teams that have already lost a match before. So... It could be a blowout on either side. Obviously, Dan One and the Lightning Skulls being most likely the most ridiculous team that the Oofenders have went up against. There we go, guys. We are getting into the first round of the grand finals of the Losers Bracket. And we are... Oh, wow. An exact mirror match going into the first round at Hard Rock Mine. Definitely no, no counter meta play or anything right here. This is purely a display of skill from either team. We will see how it goes. Again, um, I'm not entirely sure 
But uh, we are seeing definitely a really, really heavy push from the, the Bond Squad right now. Ufender is really getting pushed back. Keenan going down to 16 HP at the moment. Actually getting pot shotted by Apocalypse there. Elvistra taking out Lex. And we have got Lester Mo going down as well. Just a really dominant beginnings of the match there. Keenan and Lex respawning first and trying to push him back at the moment. But currently six gems sitting on the bomb squad at the moment. I, I just I don't know about this one, guys. I'm not I'm not seeing this from from Avengers. They definitely played much, much better uh, in the beginning of the last round. But yeah, they are. They, they're, they're trying to get the reversal right now. They're trying to make it happen. Super going down did not connect quite properly. I think Lester thought there were some people sitting back in the background there. Did not work out, unfortunately, for them. Lex is sitting at about 630 or 730 HP. 630 now, and he's going to go down. They've got the countdown on Bomb Squad's side, and this is just really dominant right now. Like, I, I don't think that Avengers have had control of this match at any point in this game so far. So the Hard Rock Mine matchup, maybe not the best. Um, I'm not even sure if it... I don't even know, guys. That was that was pretty crazy. Lex going to try to make it happen. Unfortunately for him, it's not going to happen. That is going to be the loss for round number one. And uh, we'll have to see how the Ufengers decide to go into the next round because I do think that they can definitely bring it back. They can definitely bring it back. It's not like they can't bring it back, okay? We know Lex. We know that team. We know Lester's one of the best ricochets on the planet, okay? So we know that they have the potential to just bring that one back. But Lex is going to lose the first round. Defenders are going to take the L at this point in time. And uh, we'll just have to see what they respond with, guys. Honestly, I don't know. So Lex is deciding to hike over to Deep Hollow's banning Penny. So they've actually been watching. They've been watching the previous matches and they know. They know Ilvestra's Penny is dangerous, guys absolutely dangerous so they are going to go to ch go, go to and choose to uh ban that penny and drop them and apocalypse is choosing to go ahead and ban mortis again something that they've been pretty consistent about that i'm i'm definitely not at all surprised to see um but at the same time it i would have been surprised to see it if you would have told me that it was going to happen yesterday you know there we go and we are getting ready to spectate that is going to be the second round in the Brawl Stars YouTuber Tournament Losers Grand Finals. Guys, let's see if they're able to actually take it back home. We are seeing, again, a little bit of a different map choice. Obviously, D D Deep Hollows is a... <laughs> it's a different map. It definitely works a lot differently logistically than the uh, the Hard Rock Mines, you know? So they took the hike over here. We will see if the Avengers can take it out. They definitely are having a very, very nice time. In this early game, that said, Lex taking a lot of damage, going down to 840 HP there. Ilvistra going to push down Lester and take him down on Spike. And I'm not... Oh, jeez, guys. Uh, Avengers again, just going to get pushed back right now. They're just getting pushed back at the moment, and it is really just not going amazing for the Avengers. In, in their effort to sort of turn things around going into the second match. I just, I just, I don't see it at this point. That said, Elvistra taking a lot of damage. Apocalypse very quick on the super, though. That trigger finger was fast, my dudes. And they are definitely pushing back the Ufengers. They get cocky. That is really the main thing that, that's going to possibly prompt a win. Like, a, a, an easy reversal from Lex and the Ufengers at this point, you know. But we are seeing a countdown right now. Rock has a lot of HP. We are going to see the super going down. But the super is actually going to be a super. Wow! Wow! Rock! Oh my god, I can't even, I can't even commentate that properly. That just, I can't believe that just happened, guys. I can't believe that just happened. And with the final second, one gem is going to be dropped by the Avengers. I can't believe this right now. Are you serious? Rock with the MVP super, just throwing it down so he can use his star power. These, this star power usage is just next level right now, guys. And it is going to go towards the bomb squad with a second countdown going to be it. And, uh, guys, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for our, our buddies in the Ufengers right now. Really not. So we'll have to see what they choose to do to sort of try to come back from this one. But it definitely is not looking great for them right now. This isn't looking good. This is a 3-0 sweep. I don't know, guys. We've seen we've seen crazy comebacks. We've seen some crazy comebacks, some reverse sweeps and everything. So it does look like we got the bans coming in right, right now. And uh, we're seeing a ban on Rico from the Avengers. So, you know, Bomb Squad's not going to be able to use that Rico. And... 
Bomb Squad's going to ban Frank. If we see a Frank used in this match, I will lose my mind, guys. I will lose my mind. Oh my gosh. We are jumping into the final match. Or not the final match. Possibly final match. It's, it's very possible this is going to be the final match. And that is going to be... Are you serious right now? Will Vistra playing the Frank? Yes! Yes, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. Ilvistra, you are a legend playing Penny and then Frank. Penny and then Frank, guys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So right now, sitting at 2-0 and oh at the moment, Bomb Squad definitely choosing to, to play a very, very interesting team. Obviously, Poco and Spike not as interesting of a decision, but we are seeing a back and forth at the moment. And uh, Ilvistra choosing to play that Frank. Oh my god, I am so excited about that. Yump sort of trying to get this back, uh, this, this sort of backdoor strategy where he's just going to sort of stay back. And he, he showed himself. He did not mean to show himself there. Um, but yeah, he's going to sort of just stay back and then help the Avengers stay in this middle area, in this middle position right now so they can maintain control of the mine. Yup, with that super back there, we could see the super. Um, it's going to be an escape super from Yump. It's going to not connect. Unfortunately, Yump sort of going down there without really doing a whole lot, and that's going to mean a 2v3 for quite a little bit of time here for Apocalypse and the Bomb Squad. Definitely going to be able to push them back, for, or at least hopefully for them. Um, but then again, Yump's going to be respawned. He's going to start rolling right forward again. Yump getting a little bit caught out by the super from our, our buddy Spike, our little cactus friend. And Elvistra going for the double kill. You've got to be kidding me. It was a double kill. A last second double kill. Keenan going on with a super though. The countdown happening. And Rock is going to take out Keenan. That said, we have definitely got a very competitive countdown right now. I, this is this is definitely able to be stopped. Oh, the super from Lex was too late. And that is going to be Elvistra just going ham with the ace. He ace? The ace? Are you kidding me right now? He ace the team. The Avengers. Oh, my God. With the ace for the loss. Avengers losing 3-0. and oh, An absolute blowout from Apocalypse and the Bomb Squad. Thank you guys so much for participating. Lex and the Avengers, you guys are amazing players, but it just was not your day wow incredible stuff guys absolutely a fantastic set i can't believe i can't believe that just happened using frank and going for the ace to stop the offense to stop the countdown oh my god <laughs> apocalypse moving back into the grudge match for the grand finals of this tournament guys unbelievable right now unbelievable all right guys we have got the spectate client ready to roll ready to go and we are jumping into the first round in the grand finals of the brawl stars youtuber tournament we have got the bomb squad going up against the absolutely dominant winners bracket winners skinny pams so right off the bat you're seeing a uh, again a a mirror match. I'm actually kind of shocked we saw a mirror match in this case. No ricochets or anything like that. Elvistra taking a lot of damage, but Coach Cory also taking quite a bit of damage. We are seeing just a back and forth right now, but Coach Cory Skinny Pam's definitely maintaining the forward momentum and the mind control at the moment. A two for three. They are not going to be able to defend Coach Cory's team. Skinny Pam's pushing for sure. For sure. And uh, Apocalypse taking a lot of damage right now. Super going off from Eric. Not going to connect, unfortunately, for him. And uh, we're seeing a lot of damage going off on Coach Corey's team. Skinny Pam's going to lose two members at once right now. Corey getting pushed all the way back now. And uh, going down to about 3,700 HP. Now healing back up, though. We're seeing the respawn. This is definitely going to determine the flow of the rest of the game. The super is actually going to get very, very close to taking out Corey. Corey's going to get hit with a pot shot from Rock. Rock is going to actually do some more damage and possibly even take out Eric right now. Super possibly going down. I don't even know, guys. Lots of back and forth going on right now, though. Coach Corey and Elvistra just, just throwing pot shots at each other. These rockets are just doing crazy work right now. But we, what we're seeing right now is actually just a reversal, a complete reversal. Bomb Squad taking the momentum back 
from from the from I guess Co Coach Corey and the the Skinny Pams. They had the momentum. The Skinny Pams were going forward. They had the they had the control of the mind. They had the momentum going forward, but. But it's definitely going back and forth right now. An eight and six, guys, with two gems sitting in the center at the moment. This is anyone's game. Ilvistra trying to go in and get all of them. But unfortunately, for Ilvistra, not going to be able to pick up that last one. That said, the, the last gem actually spawning in the perfect position there. Ilvistra sort of overextending at the moment, losing the countdown, unfortunately, for them. But it would have been lost anyway. Super going down from Eric EX. That is going to actually take out Apocalypse there. And this is going to be very, very close. They're trying to get the last gems that they need. Eric going to grab them. Ilvistra down to 40 HP. It is going to connect with Eric. Eric's going to go down. Ilvistra still at 40 HP, impacting the game. You've got to be kidding me right now. And then, and then Corey goes down. We have got the countdown from Bomb Squad right now. The back and forth is absolutely insane. Coach Corey using the super to heal up right there. Eric going to try to make something happen. Eric going to take down Apocalypse. You've got to be kidding me right now. This is such a crazy back and forth. All the gems still sitting on Bomb Squad's side, though. That said, it is 12 gems when there's quite a few gems in play right now that they're going to be able to pick up. I don't believe that's going to be something they can pick up and actually stop. They need to take out Ilvistra right now to stop this from happening. And they are going to actually take out Apocalypse and Ilvistra. Rock staying alive with four gems. Rock going to get taken down. That is the ace from Bomb Squad, the back and forth, absolutely insane right now. I'm having trouble even keeping up with this. But now we have the Skinny Pans countdown going with 13 gems. This is essentially locked in the ace from the the, <laughs> the Skinny Pans. Good Lord, man. Super going down defensively from Eric. That is going to be the final win for the first round of the Grand Finals. What an amazing way to start this thing out. You have got to be kidding me right now. I am sweating. My voice is just like crazy. Like my throat is just, I, I don't even know how like I was just commentating that man. That was nuts. That was nuts. Holy cow. Can I get a drink of water please? Oh my God. <laughs> that was what a crazy way to start things off incredible game from both teams you guys rock you guys rock that is quite possibly the best game of brawl stars i have ever seen that was quite possibly the best game i have seen period oh man wow I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just breathe real quick for a few minutes here. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna breathe. Holy crap. Ban Poco. Okay. Okay, we're gonna see a ban on Poco. Again, a very safe decision. We're definitely used to seeing this from their earlier matchup. Mortis and Poco ban. Um, you know, I, I just, I, I really, I really feel like that Mortis ban is just not solving much. Mortis getting banned because he counters throwers. I mean, absolutely. Don't get me wrong, I understand that, but... I just, I feel like, I feel like we probably wouldn't see Mortis at this point, especially because we're seeing so much spike, you know? And jumping a Mortis into a spike almost never works out. Oh, oh, is it time? It is. Apologies, guys. Looks like we missed the first few seconds of that match. Um, it didn't pop up for me for some reason, but we are getting into the second round of the Brawl Stars YouTube Tournament Grand Finale, my friends. And Apocalypse getting absolutely nuked by Corey there. Coach Corey also doing quite a bit of damage as well. Pushing back Ilvistra and Rock, and we are seeing the, uh, the Dynamite and the Penny here as well. So this is a very squishy comp, but also a very, very glass cannony comp. They do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage, my guy. They do a lot of damage. So... Definitely a very back and forth matchup at the moment. That said, they do have mind control on the side of Skinny Pams right now. I'm definitely not entirely convinced that this is entirely decided at the same time. I mean, this is going to be very difficult for them to come back from. This is going to be very difficult to come back from. That said, we are seeing Eric versus Apocalypse, and Eric is going to go down. Coach Corey still maintaining that, that full eight load of uh, gems there. That's very, very impactful i guess like he's gonna just be able to sit back and relax and if they can get a forward momentum get a kill or two and then push 3v2 then that's basically going to guarantee him uh the countdown really 
and not the win but the countdown so just like that they're getting the two countdown there that was actually a really really crazy shot on Corey. double shot from Elvistra. fantastic fantastic gameplay right there just going for first the buck shot with coach Corey, and then hitting Corey on behind there and then going for the stray shot the buck uh, the random uh just 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 random shot really that uh just barely connected with Corey taking him out but that was really solid eight and eight we are seeing a very even matchup right now and that mortar oh my god oh my god the ace the ace apocalypse and the bomb squad with the ace i'm having trouble even keeping up with what's going on screen right now but this is nuts guys this is absolutely nuts they went for the ace there we are seeing just a, a, a nice little push back. People trying to move forward from the Skinny Pams to sort of stop that countdown. Elvistra going to get away, and uh, that's going to be the win from Bomb Squad. Absolutely a fantastic game. People counting Ice out right off the bat there, but Ice is going to go and play a fantastic, fantastic game as Dynamite there with some amazing supers and just turn it right back around and go one and one, guys. Coach Corey opting to go to Crystal Caverns here. Okay. Okay. That was cool. That was cool. I, I like that game, man. That was a solid game. That was a really solid game. And we are seeing from Coach Corey, he's going to go for the ban on Poco again, going for Crystal there. And uh, this, this is definitely very consistent at this point. Apocalypse choosing to go for Piper ban in Crystal Cavern again. So, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into this, guys. Let's let's jump right into this. This is cool. I'm oh nope, spectating. We're going into the third round, guys. We got the third round in the Brawl Stars YouTuber Tournament Grand Finale, and we have got not even close to a mirror match. We are gonna again see Elvistra opting to play the Penny this time around, and Terra definitely worked out very well for Ice Spike in previous rounds. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. No strictly long rangers. Eric definitely going to be the absolute carry for this particular match if there is a carry on the side of skinny pams but ice spike actually taking a lot of damage there coach Corey going to hit him with the uh, uh the one for one actually and then the, then the two for one and then we've got we've got we've got penny trying to trying to make something happen trying to make something happen poor little penny just chilling out trying to make something happen but uh, we are going to see Penny go for the super. The mortar is out and ready to rumble, guys. And that has been the main issue for Coach Corey and the Skinny Pams lately, guys. I got to say. So we will see how they respond to it this time around. But if they can figure out how to actually beat down that mortar and respond to it properly, then they may just be able to get back to the mine and maintain some control here. Super going down from Eric, not going to connect with Ice Spike, unfortunately. And we are seeing the super go down from Apocalypse on Coach Corey and on Corey. Going to bring them down very, very low. And they've just pushed Corey back to the back of the map, honestly. Uh, we're seeing Skinny Pams just get really pushed back right now. Lots of forward momentum. And then uh, all the all the gems are just being made in the mine right now. Super going off from Ice Spike, going to connect properly with Corey. Unfortunately for Ice Spike, Ice Spike is going to take quite a bit of damage from Corey and Coach Corey. And uh, it's just not going to work out too well for him. That said, we've got Ilvistra MVPing with that penny. Just ridiculous gameplay right here, guys. And that mortar is putting in a ridiculous amount of work as well. It's so hard to deal with it. You see that right there. It connected with Corey, and there's nothing Corey could do about that. It was either absorb a shot from someone on the opposing team or absorb a shot from the mortar. It's like one or the other. Super is actually there from Ice Spike. We've got the countdown on Bomb Squad's side, guys. And we are seeing a very, very strong Bomb Squad coming back from their early loss. Eric going down, and then we've got the sole adorable little Spike, Coach Corey, running on forward here. It is not going to be enough. We are seeing a return to form from the Bomb Squad. Going 2-1 and one right now, guys. Really solid game right there. Absolutely fantastic gameplay from Ilvistra and from Ice Spike and from Apocalypse, obviously. But I have to really shout out Ilvistra for the amazing top tier penny play they've okay coach Corey and the skinny pams have chosen to go to crystal caverns again and they are banning penny this time around we are seeing a reactive ban to penny being ridiculous on Ilvistra. absolutely ridiculous on Ilvistra. so absolutely a uh, a reactive ban there you know i don't think they were intending on banning penny initially you know they they were very consistent with banning poco at its core you know a very very friendly very you know um 
I guess a very safe ban is the, is the word I'm looking for. It's it's a it's a it's an expected ban, but Penny is really putting in a lot of work. I gotta say, so I did not expect the ban, but at the same time, after these most recent rounds, you know they definitely need to ban that Penny because Ilvestra's Penny is just top tier, guys. Absolutely top tier. So excited about this next round. We're gonna see what Apocalypse decides to do. That's gonna be Piper. So moving into Crystal Caverns, again, a very consistent ban we've seen from Apocalypse and the Bomb Squad. Piper, definitely something that we can come to expect them to ban in this particular map. And it looks like we do actually have the Spectate going up right now, guys. That is going to be... Is this a mirror match? We are seeing a near mirror match right now. Poco in place of... <laughs> oh, Penny. Penny being run by Corey right now. Interesting decision. Elvistra trying to dodge those shots in the middle. Got a little bit caught out by Coach Corey and by Corey there. That was definitely not going to go well in any sense of the word. And Coach Corey going down very low, about 700 HP, but not going to be enough, uh, unfortunately, for the Bomb Squad. And we're going to see a super from Coach Corey and just sort of catching out Elvistra there. Um, they're being pretty dominant right now. The Mortar is engaged by Corey right now. And again, they are seeing the results of it. Really crazy stuff going on right now, guys. Really crazy stuff. Coach Corey going down to 128 HP. Has the super. And actually going to get taken out by Apocalypse right now. We are seeing a very, very heavy push by the Bomb Squad. Corey going down to about half HP. A little bit a little bit over that, actually. Probably about three-fourths. But um, we are seeing a failed super by Ice Spike. Still a decent super to have out there, though, to just keep them back at bay and everything like that. So awesome stuff there and uh, we are seeing a super from eric now this is actually going to accomplish a lot apocalypse going to go down ilvestra sitting at seven gems but still going to go down to about 2500 hp that clutch dodge by ilvestra there ilvestra just making some really ridiculously fantastic plays in this game in this set in these matches i really have to point those out because we're seeing some amazing gameplay here eric sitting right in the middle of apocalypse is super apocalypse going to take down eric here and we are definitely seeing a very dominant performance again from the Bomb Squad. We have got a countdown right now. Elvistra waiting for the last final gem that Elvistra is going to need for the countdown to be just solo on, <laughs> on their accord, right? So literally just Elvistra needs to survive right now to win the game and that is going to be it Corey's going to go down ggs and that is going to be the bracket reset right now guys the bracket is reset now we have coach Corey and the skinny pams going down into the losers bracket which means that both of them are considered to be in the losers bracket now so brackets are reset we're now at zero and zero moving into this final set of the tournament it will not it will not go any farther than this set. This is the final set, guys. But it does look like we actually are going to get into the first round of the set, guys. This is the final set of the Brawl Stars YouTuber Tournament. We are seeing not a mirror match in this case. This is going to be, again, just resetting the brackets. So we're back at Hard Rock Mine. No bans, nothing like that. They didn't choose Hard Rock Mine or anything. And uh, the only differences here are going to be a Brock and a uh anita okay so rock and nita this actually going to be working very very well in the beginning for bomb squad taking out eric you know eric's rock put in a lot of work quite a few times and uh, we are going to see coach Corey actually take out apocalypse there so this is definitely definitely a uh i don't know it's, it's a back and forth matchup at this point i i think that the team comps are compatible but we're seeing a back and forth at the moment. Um, obviously, now we're going to see Ice Spike try to heal back up and get ready to rumble again. And Eric's going to try to stop that from happening. Use that range to his advantage. Um, Apocalypse getting healed up by Elvistra. Elvistra going in right now has three gems versus the six gems that uh, Coach Corey and the Skinny Pams have. Actually, specifically, Corey has all of them right now. But we are seeing... Uh, a really, really close call from Corey there. Actually looked very, very close to an ace, honestly. Um, with with a longer range brawler, if Ice Spike actually played a longer range brawler, I would have expected that to have been an ace, to be completely honest. Super going down on Corey. However, Ilvestra is going to go down having six of the gems. That's going to be a countdown right there, guys. That's going to be a countdown right there. I'm not so sure they're going to be able to stop this one, but... This is definitely a map where it is possible, so don't count them out just yet. We are definitely going to see a very, very heavy momentum swing right now, but that said, down to about five seconds. There's there's just no way, guys. There's just no way. Apocalypse trying to get it done. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get it done for 
the bomb squad that's going to be a one and O lead starting out the first uh or the, the last i guess set rather of the brawl stars youtuber tournament now that said they started that the last set out just like that as well they started it out much much like that so definitely don't count them out at this point okay do not count this out or do not do not count them out at this point in time okay they have definitely got their uh they, they've definitely still got a stake in this game okay all right guys so hope you enjoyed that uh we've got some new information since we went uh to the uh the commercial break there but yeah uh we've got mushroom cave is is the map chosen for the next round and then we've got mortis ban from apocalypse and the bomb squad then we've got skinny pams opting to ban dynamite so this is this is this is probably exactly something you'd expect at this point from the uh the bomb squad but i will say that it's a little bit unexpected from skinny pams and i'm interested to see where they actually go from here like what are they going to be doing with this um what are they expecting them to use and what are they going to be expecting them to use after the ban we are going to go ahead and get into the second round in the final set of the brawl stars youtuber tournament we're seeing elvistra on the penny again which is just amazing to see. I love seeing that gameplay from Ilvistra. Amazing stuff, guys. And uh, we're seeing a penny from Cory as well. We're going to have Battle of the Corys here. That said, we're seeing a pot shot go off on Apocalypse there. Apocalypse going down, unfortunately, for her. And uh, Ilvistra getting pieced up by Cory right now and by just random pot shots from Eric as well. Not great for them. That said, Ice Spike versus uh coach cory gonna go in ice spikes direction very very easily there having a thrower in particular on this map is very very solid super going down taking out eric ex that's just that is not good for the skinny pams guys they have got forced back and with the amount of pressure that they can apply in defense i, I think that bomb squad might have this one in the bag unless unless we can see some really crazy offense and a really crazy play from Coach Corey and the Skinny Pams. We'll just we'll just have to see, man. Um, super from Ice Spike going down, and Apocalypse will end up taking out Eric EX. Coach Corey going in for a play, and it will actually work out very, very well. Unfortunately for Coach Corey, he's going to walk right into the edge of a mortar shot, and that is just not going to work out too well for him at all. That said, 5 and 4, very equal match at the moment. They actually did uh, push back the Bomb Squad relatively successfully. Um, Corey going to take out Apocalypse. Eric going to go down as well, though. And that's a decent one for one. Elvistra down to 22 HP. That's very, very close. Mortar is still doing shots on both sides. Both teams recognizing the value that these mortars can have. And uh, the mortar actually going to get destroyed. Coach Corey taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, Corey also taking quite a bit of damage. Eric down to about 640 HP. Going to go down to Elvistra's just random pot shot there. Again, very, very nice shots from Elvistra. Super going down. Coordinated supers from Apocalypse and Ice Spike. Very solid job there. Coach Corey taking quite a lot of damage. And the double kill going off. They have basically got a guaranteed countdown at the moment. Apocalypse just grabbing what she needed and then getting out of that situation. Elvistra and Apocalypse both having the gems at this point. But if Elvistra stays alive in one of uh, either Ice Spike or Apocalypse stays alive at this point, that is going to be the game guaranteed. Actually, Elvistra needs to go down for them to stop the countdown. It's going to not happen at all. That is going to be evening things up in the grand finale of the Brawl Stars YouTuber Tournament, guys. We have got one and one. Really awesome game there. Really, really great gameplay from both teams but it did not work out super, super well in the end for the Skinny Pams. Now, that said, they definitely can continue to uh, play very, very well and turn this one around. You know, they have got the map pick. Coach Corey going to opt for the Hard Rock Mine map pick. They're probably the right decision. That's the one they've been consistently winning in the two times that they've gone up against the... Uh, actually, in the, they've definitely won more than two times, actually. That's definitely really, really solid... Uh, picking wise from coach Corey. i mean it's not the best viewership wise because we're going back to a map that we're guaranteed to see already but that doesn't really matter we're going for the wins right now guys we're going for the accolade of being the best brawl stars youtuber on the planet all right so that's a pretty big deal that's a pretty big title to put like right under your name put it in like your twitter bio and stuff like that pretty big deal uh and then we're seeing a ban on poco so again, going back to, you know, your typical run-of-the-mill ban, obviously Poco is a very safe ban. It's a very safe ban. I do think that we could see a Penny ban if they lose this match. 
absolutely, actually. What am I talking about? If they lose this match and Penny's used on the Hard Rock Mine team, we are 100% seeing a Penny ban from Coach Corey and the Skinny Pams. I, I have, like, no doubt in my mind whatsoever. But for right now, they're going for the safe ban. Poco has a lot of value in Hard Rock Mine, so it makes sense. I get it, you know? Um, but they really need to turn this one around. They're sitting they're sitting one and one. They need to just grab the momentum back and just just truck on forward. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, just so you know, the audio is not going to be present in this particular match. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see this on the actual tournament live stream, but Coach Corey came in clutch and actually had recorded his matchup with Apocalypse and the Bomb Squad. So definitely really, really huge thanks to Coach Corey for providing this match. I really do appreciate it, man. And uh, go ahead and enjoy this matchup, guys. The actual normal commentary and everything that you saw on stream will be resuming with the next match. But really, though, guys, I'm honestly not at all surprised about the outcome of this particular matchup. They went back to Hard Rock Mine. We kind of discussed the possibilities of what would most likely happen and what could happen in general with this return to Hard Rock Mine. And overall, it happened exactly how we discussed it, exactly how most of the people in chat discussed it. You know, they just really have a fantastic performance on Hard Rock Mine in particular. Really amazing pressure, really amazing placements and positioning in general. And overall, I cannot commend them enough for how well they played this particular matchup. You guys are going to see the countdown right now. And really, there was just not a lot that could be done by the bomb squad in this position. They just they, they tried to make it stop. They tried to to reset the countdown and things like that. But it just wasn't going to happen, unfortunately for them. That is going to be the win. Moving on into the next round right now. Okay, so we're going to Deep Hollows next, guys. Apocalypse has opted to ban Mortis. Again, uh, something that we've seen pretty consistently from them. And I definitely sort of expected running into this next matchup. And then we've seen Corey ban Dynamite. Okay, and now we're just... We're just waiting for the matchup to start. So uh, we'll go ahead and wait for just a few a few seconds here, hopefully, and the spectate will go off. We'll be good to go. We have a Mortis Phobia, nasty stuff, really. Yeah. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, absolutely. Mortis, you know, I, I could see, like, a single loss in a set happening in, like, a tournament setting or something, and then immediately you just never ever want to go up against a mortis ever again so if there's nothing that's like too devastating you're going up against then you're like ban mortis we don't want to see him just get rid of him i don't want to see him ever again you know we've got the fourth match in the brawl stars youtuber tournament grand finale guys this is going to be Corey on penny again and uh we are seeing a very very different team from the bomb squad here they definitely need to take this one home Eric going to go down there, the first loss, and uh, Elvistra going very, very low, going to dodge some shots right now. And Elvistra going down to 224 HP with four gems, definitely needs to heal back up and will have the opportunity thanks to the ridiculous pressure that Ice Spike is able to put on right now with that Barley. Very crazy stuff going down. And uh, obviously, once Penny gets that mortar up, you know, we might see a little bit of a turnaround at the moment, but uh, it does look like Apox going to go very, very low. And we're going to see the heal go out from El Elvistra. Elvistra had seven gems right now. This could be a dominant dominant finish right now, guys. Um, Corey and Eric going very, very low. We are going to see them trying to go after that mortar because that mortar is dangerous, my dudes. That said, we are going to see the super from Coach Corey. We're also going to see Ice Spike get pushed back very significantly right now. Elvistra sitting at eight gems. Doesn't really need to be aggressive right now. Still going to take down Coach Corey in the one for one. Uh, Apocalypse going to go down as well. But you know what? They have got the forward momentum. They've got the super on Ilvistra. We're going to see the super go out from Eric. It's going to connect. And then Ice Spike is going to get connected with, with another super. Corey's going to take a lot of HP, or a lot of damage, rather. Eric's going to take a lot of damage as well. And right now, we are basically seeing Ilvistra just get bullied across the stage. Like, that is really, the, the whole field is just, Ilvistra just getting shot at. Like, that's really it. Ice Spike super going down. Ice Spike going to get caught out by Eric's super 
as well, unfortunately, for uh, Ice Spike. And uh, Ilvestre going to take a lot of damage. Apoc going to take a lot of damage right now. Definitely, they really, really need to heal back up. Ice Spike going to try to push them back and give them the opportunity to go forward. Ilvestre taking a lot of damage. Ilvestre is going to go down. And the Mortar is going to actually take out Ice Spike as well. Apoc's the last remaining brawler at this point. Super going down from Coach Corey. Coach Corey's not going to go down here. Ilvestre is actually going to survive just long enough to possibly get over there. Elvistra is actually going to go down here. Super going out from Ice Spike. Just trying to get control of the game again. That's really it, guys. That is really it. And uh, three and nine right now. Coach Corey sitting at six, and then Eric sitting at three. And then we've only got a couple more gems that we need to see go in their direction right now. And this could be the final match in this set, guys. This could be the final match in the Brawl Stars YouTuber Tournament. The final few seconds. Are they going to be able to take this one back? I don't think so right now. Apocalypse going down to Elvistra. Able to go and push forward a little bit, but it's not going to be enough. And that is going to be Coach Corey and the Skinny Pams taking home the win for the tournament. Congratulations, my friends. That was a fantastic, fantastic set. Amazing, amazing gameplay from the Bomb Squad. Apoc, Ice Spike and Elvistra, some really, really great matches, guys. Thank you so much for participating. I hope you guys enjoyed this tournament. Amazing, amazing stuff, though. I cannot say it enough. Really some fantastic gameplay going on there. And uh, yeah, Coach Corey, Corey, Eric, taking it home. Really solid job. Absolutely crazy stuff, though. We saw a bracket reset in the grand finals, guys. We saw a bracket reset, but it didn't mean, it didn't mean everything. It didn't mean anything in the end because we did see the reversal and then Skinny Pam's taking it home in the end. Even with APOC being able to choose the map, they were still able to overcome that adversity and overcome really not being able to get a solid footing against the, the bomb squad like at really very many points in any other map other than Hard Rock Mine. So I really have to give them mad props for that because that was back and forth a lot of times and they were having trouble in pretty much every other map um so definitely some really awesome gameplay there but uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching really do appreciate it until the next one peace